I'm Vodhai, this is Abhinav and I welcome you. Now in this video, I'm sharing my learnings from Middle Discourses 88. Uh, title of the discourse is The Imported Cloth, uh, uh, also known as Bahi, Bahi Tika Sutta. Bahi Tika Sutta. The link to the discourse is given in the description. Now this discourse is a short, interesting discourse uh, on unskillful behavior. So the context is that uh, as we discussed the, in the uh, MN 87, there was King Pasanadi who uh, 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 was first, he was not very uh, agreeing and accepting to Buddha's view on uh, uh, loved ones, whether they are a cause of suffering or happiness. But then he later converted and he said that Buddha's view is correct. And uh, now King Pasanadi is moving towards kind of Buddha's teaching. So in this video, uh, sorry, in this discourse, uh, King, uh, the, the context is that Buddha was staying in Savatthi. And Venerable uh, uh, Ananda uh, 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 robed up and moved to the town to uh, 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 ask for the arms. And at that time, um, King Pasanadi was also moving at that place. So he just, uh, when he saw Ananda, he said that, uh, he asked Ananda to please uh, give me some time, I want to talk to you. And uh, then then basically he asked, King, pa uh, King uh, he, the king asked the Ananda, Honorable Ananda, uh, does the Buddha engage in any sort of behavior by way of body, speech or mind that is faulted by ascetics and Brahmins? Now here also, see, uh, he was still at the stage of kind of, you know, uh, 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 testing the teacher, right? He has not yet still accepted the Buddha as a teacher. So he was like asking Buddha's chief disciple Ananda that is there, is there something that Buddha engages, any sort of behavior by way of body, speech or mind that is faulted by the ascetics or Brahmins? See, understand the context at that time. There were other ascetics from other religions and, you know, various ascetics who were not kind of happy with Buddha's growing influence, Buddha's, the teaching that he was giving, right? So they kind of, you know, circulated stories about the Buddha, that Buddha is engaging in bad behavior, wrong behavior. So it is not clear uh, what is the background uh, because of which King Pasanadi is asking this question. So, uh, 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 Venerable Ananda gives a very clear response, no great king. The Buddha would not engage in the sort of behavior that is faulted by sensible ascetics and Brahmins. Note the word that Ananda has included, sensible, because there are so many ascetics and there are uh, unsensible and uh, uh, all the unscrupulous ascetics also. So Buddha, so uh, the uh, uh, Ananda very clearly said Buddha would not engage in the sort of behavior that is faulted or I mean said wrong that this is wrong by the sensible ascetics. So. Um, King Pasanadi was very happy. He said, incredible sir, I couldn't fully express my question, but you have given the, me a cor correct answer. I also believe that uh, praise or criticism of others spoken by incompetent fools doesn't matter. It's basically what I believe that praise or uh, criticism of others spoken by competent or intelligent people matters. Right? And this is again a learning that we can take is that, you know, the, Whenever we practice, we teach, you know, we, we do our practices, there will be people who will, uh, so there is always this thing that is against the Buddha because Buddha challenged certain notions and beliefs like the caste system and the animal sacrifices and all in India, which he faced a lot of opposition, right? But he still hold, held his ground. So there are people, uh, especially I will say in India, who are against the Buddha's teachings uh, because of their own vested interests, uh, which were getting affected. So when we practice, we have to, Understand that there will be a lot of people who will have a lot of opinions about the Buddha. We are not going to kind of waver because of each and every person's opinions, right? Only there are intelligent, competent people. If they have an opinion, we will take that opinion. We will understand that, right? So that is just, I thought, this is one learning that we have. Okay. Now, uh, coming back to the discourse that uh, Honorable Ananda, what kind of bodily behavior is faulted by sensible ascetics and Brahmins? Right? So now he is asking, what kind of bodily behavior is faulted by sensitive, sensible ascetics and Brahmins? So now here understand how in this discourse, An, uh, Ananda is giving various dimensions to the uh, to faulty behavior. So he says unskillful behavior. Unskillful behavior is, see, there are unskill, wholesome, unwholesome qualities in our unconscious mind. So whatever the, uh, the behavior that arises from unwholesome qualities, qualities like anger, blame, lust, desire, you know, attachment, whatever behavior that arises because of those unskillful, unwholesome qualities. So this is mostly basically the 
kind of the psychological angle of the behavior that he's bringing out unskillful behavior then king prasanadi asked what kind of bodily behavior is unskillful so now he is bringing venerable ananda says blame worthy behavior blame worthy behavior is where ananda is bringing about the dimension of social morality morality that means see understand in buddha's teaching he always give importance to the socio economic context where uh, a particular thing is done so uh, for example a particular behavior which is not considered right in that particular social economic context and it is done so that also is unskillful behavior and buddha always in other discourses also he said any rule law of the land that you break right uh, that also qualifies as unskillful behavior right so uh, here like another says bod- blame worthy behavior but what kind of bodily behavior is blame worthy so then ananda said the answer to this is hurtful behavior now ananda is bringing the impact of your behavior to others right if the behavior that you do is skillful everything is fine but you know it brings hurt to others right it brings hurt to others that is also a wrong behavior right so any so we need to watch ourselves that if our behavior is bringing hurt suffering to others that is unskillful behavior so we have to desist from that then what kind of bodily behavior is hurtful king prasanadi asked now another dimension uh, ananda brings when he says behavior that results in suffering now here he is bringing ananda is bringing the karmic aspect right that the karma that uh, uh, karma or karma in hindi that gets accumulated because of your wrong behavior which will have its karmic consequences right that means you will a behavior that you do will create wrong consequences negative consequences for you in the future in your future lifetimes right as buddha got this knowledge that all sentient beings get reborn according to their deeds so any behavior that has a karmic consequence is also unskillful behavior then what kind of a bodily behavior results in suffering right so again one more dimension ananda brings here by saying that bodily behavior which results in hurting yourself hurting others hurting both and which makes unskillful qualities grow while skillful qualities decline that kind of bodily behavior is faulted so now he is basically ananda is trying to bring this aspect that when we engage in a behavior due to which not only you are hurt but others are hurt or both of our hurt that means a behavior that doesn't have an implication only for you or for the other person it has an implication to everyone around you and due to which our unskillful qualities grow that means see if we have an unskillful quality like um, anger and we practice anger in our speech through our body by pra- by uh, uh, by doing violence uh, or practicing anger in our mind by harboring angry thoughts what will happen is that the unskillful qualities of anger will grow and over time the skillful qualities of compassion and kindness will decrease right so any behavior we do that kind of you know uh, uh, makes this unbalance i mean making the unskillful qualities increase and skillful qualities reduce that is also one more dimension that is bringing so what are the five dimensions one is the unskillful behavior which is a psychological dimension second is blame worthy which is like in the socio economic context which is considered blame worthy third hurtful behavior hurting others fourth results in suffering that means causes a karmic consequence of suffering fifth is a uh, hurting yourself hurting others hurting both right and makes unskillful qualities grow skillful qualities decline so these are the five dimensions he was bringing so this is the like the kind of a uh, main crux of this particular discourse then uh, uh, king prasanadi asked what kind of verbal mental behavior is faulted similar way he, he explained uh, mental behavior that leads to hurting yourself hurting others hurting both which makes unskillful qualities grow unskillful qualities decline then there was this inter, uh, in, inverted way where uh, 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 so then the other question of king prasanadi was sir does the buddha praise giving up all these unskillful things right now here uh, 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 venerable ananda says great king the realized one has given up all the unskillful things and possesses skillful things so here ananda is kind of subtly saying trying to say that buddha not only teaches giving up these things but he himself has given up all these uh, unskillful qualities then there was this inversion that happens where king prasanadi asks what kind of bodily behavior is not faulted by sensible ascetics and brahmins so then 
skillful behavior, blameless behavior, pleasing behavior, behavior that results in happiness, bodily behavior that results to pleasing yourself, pleasing others, pleasing both, which makes unskillful qualities decline, skillful qualities grow. So just the same thing, which is in an inverted way that is coming out. Right? Okay. And then, uh, and then this towards the end, he was, uh, he, uh, King Pasanadi was what, very happy with what the Dhamma that he had learned. So he said, I'll, I want to give you an important truth. So first, uh, the Venerable Ananda said, my robes are fine. But he said, please use that to make your robes and your own robes. You can give it to some other bhikkhu. Please accept my religious donation. So uh, Ananda accepted it and uh, then uh, uh, he moved away. So this is basically the discourse uh, where it comes out. What are the kind of unskillful behaviors, uh, harmful behaviors and what are the various dimensions of that harmful behavior. So we can reflect in our life, for example, anger or lust. What kind of unsuitable behavior is there? What kind of consequences that arise? How hurt we create hurt for others through our behavior, right? So we can reflect on this uh, through through this discourse. If you have any insights or feedback, uh, comments, do share it in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video. Namo Buddha, Namo Buddha.